This tip is kind of the opposite of the last one. Sometimes when smoothing, or doing any sculpting really, you want to lock down the open edges rather than letting them get smoothed. Let's take a quick look at a way to do this. So we've got this shirt on Hank, and it has a lot of detail on it that I decide I want to just smooth out and get rid of. So I'm just going to hold down shift and start smoothing this out. And you'll notice that as I'm doing this, it's also smoothing those border edges and causing this shirt to shrink inwards. This isn't really what I want, so I'm going to hit Control z to undo that. Now, as we were talking about in the last video, this min connected slider, we could slide this way up, and if we start smoothing out, what'll happen is that it actually won't smooth anything, because a lot of the internal edges of this have only four edges into each vertex. So what you might think is you might set this to four, and then try smoothing this out, and that kind of works okay. It's smoothing out all this detail right here. If I come up to right here on the collar and smooth this out, you might get some weird things happening. Actually, especially if you leave this on three by default, try to smooth this out, you'll actually find that that one little corner pulls inwards. Just because of the way the edge flow is right here, that vertex just happens to have four edges going into it. So let's hit Control z to undo that. So there's not really a great number to set this to if you want to smooth anything on the inside of a model but leave the border where it is. So I always like to leave this on one and lock these border edges down a different way. And how I like to do this is by going to the masking sub palette and mask by feature and just make sure that groups and crease are turned off and border is turned on and we'll just click on mask by feature. So what this does is it masks out everything on the border. Now if I hold down shift and smooth out this detail, it's going to smooth out just fine and leave the border right where it is. So I mask by feature so often that I have a hotkey set up for it. Now when ZBrush starts up by default, it actually has groups and crease turned on. So I'm going to turn these on before I start the macro. I'm going to go into macro, new macro, and hit no. And then we'll just turn off crease and groups and hit mask by feature. And then we'll go to Macro, End Macro. And let's just save this in our ZBrush installation folder. Program Files x86, Pixelogic, ZBrush, Z Startup, Macros, MISC. And we'll save this as Mask Border. All right, let's clear our mask and make sure that this macro works. Go to Macro. Mask border works perfectly. Let's clear that mask again, and I'm going to save this macro as a hotkey as well. So I'm going to hold down Control and Alt as I click on mask border, and I'm going to save this as Shift A. Okay, that worked. So let's hit Shift A, and it masked the border. So I like to use this all the time, and Shift A is just a convenient hotkey for me. You could set it to something else if you want.